Geographic information is central to making critical decisions as a society. We use maps to plan and manage critical infrastructure and services, from roads to power to emergency response. Decisions about these goods and services often involve multiple organizations with overlapping responsibilities. For example, minimizing forest fire risk to communities involves foresters, emergency responders, land use planners, and building regulators, among others. Each of these organizations typically has its own data and analysts and decision makers. In most situations, decision makers don't have the full picture and haven't had a chance to coordinate or learn from others. How can we increase the chances of having the best decisions made? How can decision makers become more competent and confident? What if they could make decisions that are informed by the most pertinent data and based on the most relevant methods, tools, and workflows? Couldn't it strengthen and reinforce the decision making? Wouldn't it be great if we not only could find these tools and learn about them, but we could also connect with people who are using them too? It would be like a network of knowledge, an open knowledge network that supports collaborative spatial decision making. To get started, we are testing semantic web technologies. The semantic web, sometimes referred to as Web 3.0, extends our current worldwide web of information by including statements representing concepts and their relationships to each other. This allows computers to more easily discover and share information and do basic reasoning that then supports the decision-making process. Semantic data are typically organized in the form of subject, predicate, object, called triples, which enables more precise searching. For example, an urban planner needs to consider evacuation routes out of a city. A typical web search for evacuation planning data for Springfield, USA will likely return hundreds to thousands of results, maybe none of them relevant. Using a semantic web technology, she could search for data set and has application evacuation planning and is location Springfield, USA. And the search results will include only items meeting all three of these criteria. In turn, those items could then link to other helpful information, such as spatial planning tools, experts, and case studies. These linked data items can be visualized through knowledge graphs. The links between data types form a network that are easy for humans to browse and easy for computers to navigate. That's why organizations are increasingly adding semantic info to their web pages and data stores, and advances in using natural language are now enabling computers to derive subject predicate object triples from ordinary web pages. Semantic search engines are more likely to return specific and relevant results for spatial decision makers instead of the hundreds to thousands of mixed results returned by a normal internet search. To understand how these technologies might assist in complex spatial decisions, we're working on three problems where geographic information plays a strong role in mediating complex relationships between people and natural resources. Managing forest fires in California, where fires in recent years have caused over 100 deaths, destroyed tens of thousands of properties, and sent one of the largest electric companies in the nation into bankruptcy. Reducing water pollution in the massive Puget Sound region of Washington State, where national attention is focused on the plight of endangered orca whales. Water quality is critically affecting their food supply of salmon and is also threatening a multi-million dollar shellfish industry. Conserving biodiversity, because the world has lost over half of its wild animals since 1970. Solutions are feasible at the regional scale, which can then be interconnected. So we are working with the Cascades to Coast Landscape Collaborative in Oregon and Washington to help prioritize collective conservation strategies and actions. Our project is building a knowledge infrastructure for fostering innovation, discovery, and communication. Given the disruptions of climate and the challenges to our human and environment interactions, it's more important than ever for the multitude of agencies, organizations, and private citizens to work from a shared knowledge base. Mountains of spatial data that are needed for decisions are trapped within organizational silos. A spatial open knowledge network will synthesize this information, and that translates into actionable knowledge for public agencies and citizens. It's a new way to share information that will help us make better decisions as we seek solutions for complex problems. We're looking forward to sharing the knowledge network with stakeholders and a broader community of interest. 
and making connections with new collaborators as we continue to build our knowledge and connect more dots.